Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here at ILTM Con once again after two years. It's great to be back. Everybody's really loving this, and we're finding out about all these new products that we didn't necessarily know about. And we're here with uh, two sisters, actually, uh, Kimberly and Leslie Cohen, who have some brilliant hotels and one on the way. And we're going to talk you, tell you about that in France. I was lucky enough to meet with them earlier. And we decided to put do a little interview with them to talk about their family business, essentially. And you're going to find out about all that and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, first of all, tell us a little bit about your family. Uh, this, is, this is your family business, right? Uh, yes, it's a family business. As you say, we work together, Kimberly and I, with our father. Uh, in fact, we created uh, Maison Parion together three, okay. three years ago. Only three years ago? That's yes, good. only three years ago. So it's a new, new collection. Uh, we were not really destined to working in hospitality because uh, our family was in fashion before. Oh, okay. uh, so what's the, con what's the connection between fashion and hospitality? Then? Oh, uh, everything is connected to this fashion right. uh, because, uh, you know, there is a spirit, a, st a lifestyle around fashion that we wanted really to to create in, in, our, in, yeah. our, in our hotels. Yeah. Yeah. Also catching the trend, I think. Uh, Hospitality is also a lot about trends, and uh, I think in fashion you need to be on trend. So well, we do have a lot of hospitality and, and fashion designers going into hospitality now, as we all know. Everything is linked now. Everything is like now. Tell us about your first hotels. Like, talk about the first one now, if you could. Um, actually, the first one we opened was uh, Lupine uh, in Saint Tropez. We opened in June 2019. Not, not, a, not a bad place to open a hotel. Not a bad place. <laughs> it's located uh, five minutes away from the city center, from Place de Lys. Uh, where everybody plays pétanque and five minutes away from um, the beach. Um, it's great because it's in a very residential area. It's surrounded by nature and the idea um, for the hotel and for the whole collection Maison Pariente was to create um, hotels that were like vacation homes rather than just uh, hotels. So yeah, there is a very residential feel in everything we do. So when you arrive at the hotel, you feel like you are in someone's home rather than just a a, a hotel. Um, there is the, 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 you know, the main, the main building, the, the main house um, is um, is around, uh, is surrounding the, the pool, which is kind of like the center of the of the hotel. Um, and there is a very convivial uh, and uh, familial uh, feeling when you arrive so there. It's a, it's a small hotel. How many rooms? Uh, there is only 34 rooms. Uh, we have a spa and a beef bar restaurant, which is a concept in Monaco. Um, Ricardo Girodi, the, the owner, worked with us to adapt the menu for you know a, a, a hotel a customers, uh, so that everybody can find uh, what they what they want and what they need. Um, also, we worked with Charles Anna, which is a famous uh, interior decorator uh, who loves uh, the south, uh, the south of France, uh, and and uh, knows the code uh, of, uh, of of Saint Tropez. Uh, the idea was to make sure that uh, we created an authentic uh, Saint Tropez feeling, vibe. So we used only materials uh, that were uh, from the area or that were inspired by Saint Tropez, um, as well as the art. The art is very important for yeah. us in all of our houses. Um, we uh, always uh, worked with design, the, the artists that make uh, art uh, for the hotels as well as put uh, some of our parents' uh, own private collection piece into the hotels. Um, like uh, in Saint-Tropez you have um, big pieces in, in the garden uh, like uh, Hugo Rondinon or uh, Tony Craig which are uh, quite famous. Uh, well, let's talk about the next one. So tell me a little about your other hotel. Yeah, one. so the next one uh, is uh, Crian Le Brave. It's located in Provence, uh, 30 minutes from uh, Avignon. It's an amazing hotel, uh, completely different from, you know, everything we... Again, a small hotel, right? Small hotel, 33, 34 uh, yeah. rooms and suites as well, uh, located in the small village of Crian Le Brave, in front and facing the Ventoux, with an amazing view on the vineyard. It's, um, uh, you know, nine different houses, which has been in a, a boat so, uh, and inside each uh, uh, house is you have the restaurant the room so each room uh, are different uh, and and once again you have amazing view and um, and it's really uh, an experience to be there because you have no corridor because the small street of the village are, are the corridor of the so hotel the village is the hotel almost uh, yeah. yes yeah, that's great. Not all the village, but uh, you know, uh, this 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 really makes the you know the particularity of uh, and there is something we 
really out of time because uh, the view, the, the, you know, the, the gastronomy there is amazing. There is a lot of vineyard to discover, a lot of antique pieces also uh, to, you know, to find for, for people who love, you know, buying antique pieces. So, so it's very different from some Trope, this little village, right? Yes, it's very different, but in fact, the idea for us was to create, you know, uh, different houses in different um, uh, destinations uh, and to, to propose a different offer, different experience, you know. Uh, there is some moment when you go on holiday that you want, you know, just to lay down, to be facing and, you know, uh, amazing view with the silence all around you. And there is some moment you want just to have fun, to have parties. So yeah, this yeah. was also the idea for us is to adapt the, you know, the spirit of, of each houses. Okay. Let's talk about the third one then that, that exists right now. So the third one is Le Coucou in Meribel, which is located in the French Alps. It's We're talking of, skiing. Uh, right? Skiing, yeah. yes. It's <laughs> one of the three valleys. Uh, um, Meribel is one of the three valleys of the French Alps. Um, we actually opened in December 2019. Uh, we had to close down because of COVID in, you know, before the end of the season and we couldn't open last year. So uh, in two days, it's actually our reopening. We are very excited about it. Well, luckily uh, it's ski season, so you're, you're yeah, right in time. Yeah. And uh, there is a snowstorm right now, so I think the snow is going to be great. <laughs> I think I know where you're, where you're heading after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow, actually. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so Le Coucou um, is actually located directly on the slopes. It was uh, before we, we, we actually purchased a piece of the slope and built the hotel on it. It's a brand new construction. Um, it has uh, 55 bedrooms and two independent chalets of four rooms each uh, that are uh, um, adjacent to the hotel so you can either you know use the chalet completely independently or use the facilities of the hotel. Um, the hotel was designed by Pierre Jovanovic uh, and um, it's a, a twist between like a traditional alpine chalet and a very contemporary view of of the mountain. Sounds like a good place for opera ski as far as I know. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, there we have two restaurants. We also have the beef bar restaurant. We have another beef bar. Yes, another beef bar with where the offer is a bit adapted, of course, uh, with more like cheesy and more like heavy food, um, you know, for of the mountain um, and uh, it has um, the, it has a big terrace facing uh, facing uh, the, the valley, the valley the view is amazing right, no, exactly and we have a second restaurant which is Bianca Neve it's a um, high-end uh, Italian uh, cuisine um, uh, this hotel was really made for you know family vacation trips so we also have two um, kids clubs one is a teens lab for the, the teenagers and one is the kids club you know for younger ones uh, we organize big workshop there every day where you know uh, it's either just for the kid or uh, for parents and kids to share a moment together so it's very um, it's very nice because parents get to reconnect with their kids oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Now it sounds like you cover all the bases here. You have your your you know Saint Tropez, your French Riviera. Uh, you have the village thing, and now you have the ski resort. What are we missing here? Uh, the news uh, for Maison Variante is that we're going to open in September an hotel in Paris. Okay. Um, it will be located uh, in, in Le Marais in Paris, so which is an amazing destination. So I know Le Marais. Which I'm like, where do you put a hotel in Le Marais? Well, that's <laughs> and um, the hotel um, will be Le Grand Mazarin. So. How many, how many how many rooms? How many rooms? So there there will be sixty one uh, rooms. A little bigger for you. I mean, yes, look. yes. Well, and it is uh, a city, so we have to go a little larger. Right? Yes. <laughs> so there will be, of course, a great restaurant uh, uh, on the ground floor and uh, amazing decoration. Uh, once again, you know the same detail to the decoration with. Uh, you know the the you know lot of creativity, lot of audacity, audacity also because you know it's a Le Marais. There is a lot of you know tendency, and so uh, we we will be very eclectic. Uh, we will tell you soon um, more and about and then and, and this okay. opens again. Tell me again. This is, when is it open? September. September next September. year. Yes. Well, I think you know, come over. We'll do, we'll do a little Saint Tropez early. We'll we'll go when to the village. Want. When you want. We'll hang out in Paris, yeah. and then by the time I finish, it's almost ski season, right? So we're ready. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Now, what would you tell our our viewers or travel advisors how to work with you in terms of booking? their clients at these really eclectic and wonderful properties? Mm -hmm. uh, I would say um, 
Uh, what we propose is um, a great experience, a lot of sincerity, a lot of conviviality and a lot of detail uh, to make uh, your stay memorable. Yeah. And where can they go to get more information on all these pl wonderful places? Well, we have our website, uh, Maison Pariente, Maison with an S, uh, MaisonPariente.com, where uh, you can uh, there go to each uh, independent uh, hotel uh, website. Um, and of course, our reservation team and uh, head of sales can, you know, bring them, give them all the detail. Um, the idea here of Maison Pariente was really to uh, not only, uh, you know, create a business, but really uh, create experience memorable experience for our customers. We do everything with a lot of heart, uh, with a lot of a sense well, of... It's a family business. Right? It's a family business, yeah. Mm -hmm. But we put a lot of yeah, heart into everything we do and it's very important for us to welcome our guests in our hotels like we would welcome the guests in our own homes. So, uh, and I think that's why, um, you know, a lot of our guests are coming back or are wanting to uh, discover a, a new um, hotel, you know, they came to Lupine and now they want to try uh, Le Coucou or come to Crayon Le Brave is because they really understood our approach and the sincerity in the approach, uh, the authenticity we want to, we are, we are creating uh, because uh, we adapt everything to the location we are at and also uh, the tone uh, we use to talk to them because we are not, uh, yes, we are five star and yes, we are uh, very uh, high end service, but we are not like stuck up service or, you know, we. It's more casual luxury that exactly. you can. Yeah. Yeah. Now we can tell that, uh, you know, um, the customers of five star hotels are getting a lot younger. They have young families and we need to adapt and to uh, answer to, the, to their needs, you know. So we think of uh, our hotels like uh, if we would think our own vacation, you know, uh, like... Yeah, luckily, you can vacation at your own hotels too, right? Exactly, so, yes. Yeah. Which is a good thing. Well, I want to thank you for taking the time. We're actually closing down yeah. this show. We're yeah. Good luck with the Paris property. Thank it sounds you. wonderful. The three properties you have sound superb. I really have to come back to France and check them out, and then we can do this interview at the hotels instead. Yes, would be great. So thank again, you for thank inviting you. us. Thank yeah, you very thank much. Thank you very much. And, and, uh, we'll see you soon back in France. Yes. Great. I'm James Schillinglaw and this is Insider Travel Report.